is it true that you joined the Navy just so you could be here with our broadcast today? No. <laughs> here we are. <laughs> On board at the Intrepid Sea Air and Space Museum. We are celebrating Fleet Week. Hey, Fleet Weekers, welcome aboard. Thanks, thanks for coming. <laughs> so you were out there talking to a lot so, of the men and women in uniform? So we're playing a game called Who is Out the Latest and Who Got Drunk? And I'm like, let me see if I can figure it out. I figured it they're, out. They're not, they're not drinking. They're, just they're, out, they're up they're late. They're having a great time. Exactly. They can do it if they're off duty. But I did find the person who was, um, she was working the latest. Okay. She was not drinking on the job. So that was very good. Okay. I was testing and quizzing everybody. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's like having mom. Mom always watching over you. Exactly. Well, welcome to New York City. Uh, whatever you do, feel free to clean it up as, as well as you can. We need some help. Anyway, thanks to Norwegian Cruise Line, we're here at the Intrepid. Uh, where do I start? We have some people we want to talk to. Welcome welcome to Fleet Week in New York City. I'm going to start with Gunnar. Gunnar is a hospital corpsman with the Navy. I hear music. Gunnar, how do you say your last name? Baron Claw. Baron Claw. Where are you from? Virginia? I'm from Lafayette, Georgia. Oh, Georgia. Oh. Yes, sir. Absolutely. That's that's a good Georgian name. <laughs> it's German, but... It's German. It's okay. <laughs> Nailed it. G, right? <laughs> Have you been to New York before? Uh, once before, but I only flew through. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so it's not the same. Mm -hmm. So you've been in here, you you, you've, you rolled up the ocean, uh, up, up the river yesterday, right? Yes, sir. All right, so what do you think so far? Because you know what, people have an opinion about New York, <laughs> and we can take it. Go ahead. It's very busy. I'm not really used to the city life, so it's a different environment. Different is the key word here. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> um, how long are you in New York? Should be about a week. Yeah. Wow. Oh, of course. You'll get to see a lot in that week. Yeah. I tell you, three days max for me, and I live here. I, <laughs> I, tell, I tell my guests, you can stay three days, and you got you're gonna want to leave. Welcome to New York, and I, and you will be surprised at how New Yorkers are actually very very warm and they're welcoming. But we get a bad rep. People think that we're just mean and evil. No. And, no, we're to the point. And if you ask us for directions, we will usually give you the right direction. Yes. <laughs> usually. Usually. Exactly. Enjoy your time here, and thank you for being a part of our show today. Uh, absolutely. You make some noise. Now, Ensign Val uh, Malongo. Yes. A, a from Cameroon originally, right? Correct. So um, you are uh, decide. Yeah, you got yeah, to get close to these microphones because <laughs> otherwise they won't hear you. So you, is it true that you joined the Navy just so you could be here with our broadcast today? No. <laughs> <laughs> No. Why did you decide to join the Navy? What was it that you thought was waiting for you once you signed up? And did it pay off? Are you enjoying your time? Yeah, so um, I, like you said, I'm originally from Cameroon. So uh, I came to the U.S. specifically for my master's degree, which uh, was going to be in corporate communications. Right. So when I, once I got to the U.S., I realized um, it's too expensive and I didn't want to take a loan. So the <laughs> Navy was the next option for me. So initially I joined for the educational benefits. I stayed because of the love of my job. I used to be a journalist before, right? and now I am a public affairs officer for the Navy, which is just a switch over. Well, thank wow. you. Wow. On, be, on behalf of all of us, we thank you, thank you for serving. Yeah. We thank appreciate you. it very much. Thank you. Appreciate and yeah, it is expensive you know, yeah, in the is. United States. I mean, and I and New York City is the most expensive city, so the only way to afford to see it is, well, on a ship <laughs> with the Navy. <laughs> Yeah, so, so, so I mean, like, my goal is accomplished. I got my master's and loan free, so it's good. I'm doing the job that I love, so it's mission accomplished for me. Excellent. Well, welcome to New York. Thank you. So far, so good? Yeah. Have New Yorkers been nice to you? I mean, I love the skyscrapers, the building, the street. Um, not so much about the people, but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. How about the dirt? Do you like the dirt? How about the know? smell of... Yeah. The smell of urine is always Do my favorite like part. Do you like that? Or the random liquid that drops on your head when you're walking yeah, on the street. Yeah, we, we call that random liquid. You're yeah. walking the street, it's not raining, but you feel liquid on your head. It's like, oh, I don't want to know where that's from. And also, sitting next to Gandhi, oh my oh, God, yeah. we're all feeling sorry for Captain Comrie from, <laughs> from the Marines. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much, sir, for being here today. Happy to be here. I know, but you were next to Gandhi for at least 20 minutes, and Gandhi was asking you question after question after question. Yeah. 
That's true. <laughs> so Gandhi always says, yes. if you want to get to know someone... Ask them questions. Now, I have not found out what the worst thing he's ever done in his life was. He won't tell me. He said it's not for the air. Okay, good. And I haven't found out the color of his underwear. So, I found out Hopefully all the other things. What are Hopefully you asking him? No, no, no. I found out all the other things well, where he's from. What, what have you found out about Captain Comrie so far? Okay, and, and then we'll quiz him as well. He's originally from Oregon. Mm-hmm, he's true. currently stationed in North Carolina. Also true. He's married. Mm-hmm. He has a young son. I know why he, or what his favorite thing is about being in the position he's in. I'll let him tell you guys that. He's also a captain. He flies planes. Ospreys. Yeah. Hello. Wow. Yeah. Well, you learned a lot. I did. He's on the USS Wasp right next door. He's here until maybe Tuesday. He's been really busy. <laughs> yeah. Also true. Yeah. Like a little book report, guy. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, I, I got to say, Captain Comrie, I, I wanted to send someone over to save you several times. But I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, he's in the Marines. He can save Wait, himself. Wait, all I heard him say over there was, well, I am married. I'm like, what is she doing? <laughs> well, I asked him what's the best. Part. Yeah. I said, what's the best part of being in the military? And he gave me his answer, which he can give you all. And I said, oh, so it's not, you know, wearing your uniform and going out and getting all the girls. And that's when he said, well, I okay. am married. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You know what? That's a great question for all three of you. What is it you love most about serving? And we'll start with you, Captain Comrade. Uh, to be a Marine officer, especially just to lead Marines, uh, it's fantastic. To have the opportunity to pour into uh, junior enlisted uh, Marines and direct them, uh, give them guidance, leadership. Uh, they all they always look to us, and they really, in many ways, idolize uh, us, uh, especially when we're really good at what we do and we're proud of it. Um, it's, it's fantastic. It's well, thank you. I've, it's been very rich. Thank you for serving, and thanks for being here during Fleet Week. Is this your first Fleet Week in New York? It is actually first time in New York. And what, so, okay, what, yeah. okay, what are your what are your thoughts? And we can take it. What are your th- look? We we bash it all the time, and we love it as well. What are your thoughts so far? Well, sailing up the Hudson with a skyline was absolutely fantastic. Right, uh, it exceeded my expectations. I, I've been to many big cities uh, across the country. Never been to New York, and uh, I was I was impressed. It's beautiful. Well, really get out beautiful. and enjoy it. I and, plan uh, on it. And people are going to take care of you. They they better yeah. give me their names <laughs> if they don't. Uh, what, what about you, uh, Ensign Val? Tell us about what you love most about serving. Um, like I said, I, I love the fact that I get to lead these uh, sailors from all over uh, you know, the world. Mm-hmm. We have so diverse. We have different people from different countries, different parts of the United States. And they become a family at the end of the day. And, and you can depend on them. You can rely on them. And together we go out and we continue to, you know... Um, Work, work as a team to you know to protect um, the interests of the United States here. Well, thank and, you. And every day, these sailors they get up to do their job. We have we have all kinds: cooks, um, accountants, um, nurses, hospital corpsmen like him. So we depend on each other every day. You know, when a ship goes on the way, it's, it's self-sufficient. We, we, we depend on each other to survive. The and, city at and, sea. And that is the most amazing thing about it, you know. Okay, yeah. and Gunner, let's go to you finally. What is it you love most about serving? Yes, sir. I, I just enjoy my job so much. Like, that, that complete leadership, it really means a lot to me. And I feel like I do make an impact from the smallest point that I am. Enjoy New York City during Fleet Week. It's an honor to have you here live from the Intrepid. We have more coming up after this.